Hi everyone, it's Angel Roche with Pure Earth Angel. So today is about finding an agent for your kid for modeling and acting. So as most of you know, my twins and my son um, are into modeling and acting. My son started first. Um, he loves acting. He wants to be a Broadway star one day. Um, he's going to be a Future Academy Award winner. It's going to be nice. <laughs> Um, the twins are in modeling. They currently have two separate agents, but we are in the process of getting Eli switched over to the same agent as the twins have right now. Um, and Ariana is now interested in modeling as well, so we're getting her all set up. Um, and since I've been working on the process of transferring to a different agency and um, getting Ariana started, I was thinking about how many people ask me all the time about how to do this. So I wanted to make a quick video and share things that I've learned and tips and all of that. So, here we go. <laughs> all right, so tip number one is finding the right agency. That always is the hardest part. There's a lot of scams out there. Please, please, please pay attention. If they ever ask for any money up front, they are not legit. Run away. <laughs> no matter how legit they sound, and um, a lot of them will have you go down to this, you know, their audition and um, all of that kind of a thing, and then they they pitch you this huge, luxurious lifestyle, blah, 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 what they're going to offer you, and then they want you to pay some money. You don't have to pay. It is not legit if they ask you to pay. Okay, so please remember that. It's so important. Okay, so the best thing to do is to do your research. My daughter's calling me right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so do your research. Um, look to find the top modeling agencies, acting agencies in your area. Um, I'm LA based, so I researched the top um, child modeling agencies in LA. Um, I found this amazing blog, which I'll leave the link below. Um, that lists the top 10 that are most recommended by casting directors. Um, I was lucky enough to get Kai and Kalia in one of them, which is Paloma Model and Talent. Um, very lucky we actually submitted them and heard back within the hour and they were already approved and sending us the paperwork over. That one happened very, very quick. Um, normally it takes a lot longer. They um, will take a few weeks. Um, if they don't like you, you may or may not hear back from them, um, depending on the agency and then um, they go forward from there. They're really good. I really do like them. Um, Eli is in a different agency. He's more of a, I don't know what they're called. It's a much smaller agency, but I don't like them as much. Um, they don't, I don't know. I just don't like them that much. <laughs> so let me see, what have I learned? Don't spend all this money on headshots right away. Um, most agencies want you to submit like a Polaroid type really basic picture, um, not even with a fancy camera against like a white wall like the one behind me. Um, every agency is different so please read what they want. Um, obviously if you're sending them the same pictures that you're sending other agencies and you're not following their directions, they're not going to want to work with you because they're not going to see you as professional already. So read, 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 read their guidelines. Um, half of them are, you can mail in the orders, half are the orders. <laughs> you can mail in submissions and the other half you can do online. It's right in the middle that I found half are really like, you can only mail in your submissions um, and generally you're not going to get those pictures back so make sure you're making plenty of copies and the other are you're able to email. Um, you're going to either not hear back from them or they'll actually send you a courtesy decline if they choose not to go with you. If you do, obviously you're going to hear back from them and the, father, the, the further steps that <laughs> the agency is going to want to do with you. So my experience so far, um, I've been pretty lucky. The kids got in very quickly. Eli got um, accepted to the very first agency we submitted him to. So I didn't further along look into other agencies which at the time I should have because I don't truly love the agency that he's with right now. That's why I am trying to transfer him over to the one that Kai and Kalia have. Um, I'm not going to mention them online and like put them on blast. Um, if you do want to message me, then I'll go ahead and let you guys know. 
Um, so his happened really fast. They um, accepted him after we emailed their submission or his submission, and they wanted to set up a meeting to meet with them right away. It was really far. It was past LA. I don't remember what city it was in, um, but I just remember it was a really long drive. The building was like eh, maybe, but the people I really loved the people. Um, but they are just not as professional as I would like them to be. They don't send him on as many auditions as they could. So we're kind of like, eh, kind of a little over them right now. Um, Kai and Kalia have a really great agency. Like I mentioned earlier, they're with Paloma Model and Talent. We do really love them. They go over a lot of information, which I'll go over in a lot of, um, in a different video. Um, more like headshots, um, you know, getting a Coogan account all the different information that you do need to have set up after you are truly interested and this is the path that you are going to go on. It's a lot of fun. The auditions, um, the auditions are interesting. They are Monday through Friday, just like regular business work hours. Um, they're generally during the day. They're not really in the evenings and you will get a notification the night before or if you're lucky two three days beforehand um the girls have an audition for oshkosh on thursday and we were lucky enough to know this weekend this past weekend so we had a few days ahead to know more about it but generally we get to find out maybe a day or two ahead of time um so that's pretty neat they tell you where to go what time they ask you, obviously, if this is the day and time that you can make. If you can't make it, then they don't fully submit your child for the audition. So, a word of advice is make sure this is something your kids want to do if they're older. Um, obviously, if they're babies, they're not going to have an opinion. Um, it's, it's something really fun to do, and you can save up money for college later, for whatever they choose to spend it on when they're 18 and older. Um... So that's what we're kind of doing with Kai and Kalia. The moment they say they don't want to do this anymore, they don't have to do it. I'm not one of those pushy moms. Eli has wanted to do it since, like, birth. He came out, like, spirit fingers and all. So <laughs> um, this is something he has truly wanted to do, so we're allowing him to do it. Um, there's a lot of crazy Hollywood moms out there. I'm not one of them. I'm actually more afraid of Hollywood <laughs> than anything. I love Holly. I love movies. I love all of that. I, you know, it's beautiful. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm very wary and um, cautious on the Hollywood life. Obviously, as you grow older, um, you're exposed to different elements and stuff like that. Um, so I'm very cautious with Eli and the older he gets, I will always, you know, be there overseeing things and making sure he's not getting exposed to some crazy lifestyle. Um, uh, for Ariana, there was nothing she was actually interested in beforehand. Um, she had no desire to do modeling or acting. Um, that was just Eli's thing at first. And now that Kai and Kalia are doing it, um, she started to get a little bit more interested that she liked the idea that they got to go to these cool auditions. She's come along with uh, with me maybe once, once or twice. Um, she thought it was pretty cool to see the other actors and um, be in the waiting rooms. Um, and then she just recently approached me after we just did some pictures of her. She finally let me. And she got such an amazing response from all of you and she was just floored and it really boosted up her self-confidence she really truly felt beautiful i mean she's always she's had confidence in herself but that just really boosted her and then she thought well maybe i can be a model <laughs> you know so i said well if you want to try it out that's you know you're absolutely I'll, I'll help you get set up and so that's why i'm we're searching on getting her with the proper agent right now and yes, I just lost my train of thought again. All right. <laughs> All right. So thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, please comment below, like this video for more. Um, I'll go ahead and continue on the series um, on more of what your next steps are after you have found an agent, you've been applying and you even get an agency. Um, give you more information on Coogan accounts and all of that because you're going to need to know about that stuff. And yes, please let me know if you have any questions. I would love to answer them as I go. And yes.
Have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye.